time travel. It is one of the most interesting topics which is getting more and more popularity all over the world. Many videos are getting uploaded day by day in this topic where I found most of the videos are giving just an illusion. So I thought of making a video on it. The video will not be longer because I could not get much more facts about this topic in my research period. So without any delay, let's start today's topic, time travel. Not all the scientists but most of the scientists believes that traveling through the time is possible. But one question, how they can say so, how they can be so confident? Because we all know that action speaks more than words, right? So now listen guys, there was an experiment where time travel was done. The experiment was done in October 1971 and the name of this experiment was Heffel Ketting Experiment. In this experiment, astronomer Richard Ketting sent a spaceship and the spaceship revolved around the Earth for two times and came back to the observatory lab. And when they compared the clock which was inside the spaceship and the clock which they have, the amazing thing they found was the clock which was inside the spaceship was some nanosecond faster than the clock they have during their experiment. And guys, I must say, the clock was not general clock that we used to wear. It was an atomic clock which can record millions part of one second. This is only one experiment entire the world which proves that the time travel is possible. From the experiment, we can say that the faster an object, the slower the time consumption for that object. The object may be stone living beings and blah blah blah. This experiment gives us the idea of traveling through time to the future. Time travel to the future is proved by both theoretically and practically. And guys, I think I should not say anything about time travel to the past because there is lots of assumption and it is only proved theoretically but isn't proved practically. Many researchers also say that time travel to the past is impossible. This is so because there is one great confusion which is also popularly known as the grandfather paradox. This paradox says that if you time travel to the past and if you kill your one grandfather at his early years, then how were you born? And if you are not born, then who killed your grandfather? It totally doesn't make any sense, right? So if I get fact information about time travel to the past, then I will definitely make a video on it. If you like the video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe. So see you guys later and take care.